welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. We're going to take a look at your week ahead messages, May 19th through, I'm sorry, May 20th through the 26th. It's going to be for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Keep in mind some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Um, and yes, yeah, click that subscribe button if you enjoy my videos and the readings, my channel. So let's get into this. You've got sunglasses, somebody's watching you, looking at you, um, hiding behind sunglasses. Uh, let's see, the sword and the rose, clarity, truth. Hmm. Well, this gives me like really strong Secret Service vibes. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so odd. I just feel like like the first thing that came out is somebody's like watching, looking, keeping their eyes on, being perceptive, focusing outward, clarity, truth, force, protection, power. Somebody's there's this desire to protect you. Uh, lightning here from from upheaval or the sudden changes or anything shocking that could be chaotic. Yeah. So there's like a protector out there for a girl. <laughs> could be a bodyguard or just somebody who's watching over you, making sure that you're okay. They could, you know, be here on earth or, you know, like a guardian angel or somebody watching over you. I feel like someone's trying to, like somebody's watching for protection purposes, making sure you're okay. Very, um... <clears throat> like they're in solidarity. That's the energy here. Someone's very protective of you. Okay. All right. Let's see what else is going on here. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. These four cards just popped out. So, so this is your energy here. Queen of Wands. There's a King of Cups here. Paying attention to the Queen of Wands. Um, and even with this page of swords, this gives me an energy of like watching, oh, look at this King of Cups. This is kind of like somebody standing behind the King of Cups. There's protection over you and another person. And the King of Cups is looking to see what you're doing. And it looks like you're trying to make a decision about something this week. And the King of Cups is trying to make sure that whatever decision you make, that you're going to be safe you're going to be okay okay so you can reverse the roles of course but it's one person watching out for another well one person watching out maybe for you you have some kind of decision you need to make this week it looks like or some kind of a compromise or something that's showing up this week where um yeah you got something big coming up I feel like that there's somebody else here who's watching over you, watching your back, watching you, making sure that you don't go into something blindly. It, yeah, and making sure that you're making a good decision. Hmm, it's protective power. Um, is somebody worried about you? They could be worrying about you. Let's see what else is going on here. Hmm, the Hierophant. So there's this energy of making plans or thinking about conforming in a type of a committed relationship or committing to something like a person, place, or a thing. And it could be like a, at a distance. Oh, wow. A love offer being made. Hmm. Yeah, Virgo. So whoever's looking out for you, I feel like this person sees a future with you. They're very sweet on you. They see a future. So it could be a fire sign. It could be a water sign. But they see a future with you, Virgo. Hmm. They don't... They're, they're concerned if, about you maybe if you're like getting hurt or, or making a bad decision. Um, there could be something to do with travel plans as well. Um, maybe want to go with you or ask you to go with them somewhere this week take a trip somewhere could have something to do with um, maybe work or a convention 
um, or a place of work, like a, the Hierophant gives me like hospital, churches, businesses, a very conventional, conformative kind of thing here. So you might be going somewhere, you might get asked to go somewhere, or invite someone to go somewhere, it could be across the water, you know, across the sea. Let's see what else is going on. I don't know, but I feel like someone's concerned about something that you're going to be doing or possibly will be doing. I got um, double Libra and Taurus, double Taurus. So some of you might be having surgery this week or planning some surgery. There might have something to do with a child or an unborn baby showing up here where there's a concern from somebody else in regards to that. Could be a legal matter also regarding um, an older woman. Or finding out some kind of truth about an older woman, like a mother figure or an elder or grandmother. Somebody's wishing that an elder female is going to be okay and hoping there's an elder female who's going to be okay. Oh, look at that. Double tens there. All is well on an emotional, personal level and also in a financial level or real estate. Okay. Happiness and joy. Um, there's somebody here who's really concerned about you struggling they don't want you to struggle yeah i feel like somebody's kind of showing up here this week who's really concerned about your well-being really concerned about your happiness your wishes your your that all your wishes come true here but that you are also protected yeah okay Anything else this week? Got the moon. All right, there's some secrets coming out. That's for sure. Something huge is going to be revealed. Possibly from a Pisces or a Cancer. Got some water. Uh, could be from a Scorpio. Hmm, somebody's walking away from some type of an addictive behavior or an addiction. Or getting out of a bad toxic environment or away from a toxic person this week okay something you might know or have known could be you but now it's actually coming to a head somebody has like a light bulb moment like a wake-up call like oh i know what i need to do i know i need to do this oh wow now the emperor is here that's aries energy you had the emperor and the empress as well um somebody's paying back a father figure whether that's their own father or, or a father another father or a boss there's money going to someone who sits in a position of authority paying off or paying back or giving a loan let's see oh um they just said someone's paying um For a service, paying for a service. This could be a protective services. This could be military or police. I'm hearing watch out for Virgo while I'm gone. I'm also hearing that. Keep an eye on Virgo while I'm gone. It's not like mischievous. It's not like an investigator who's trying to get some information on you. It's more like, you know, either buying a security system or paying someone to take care of you or watch over you. I don't know why you need that. Um, okay Virgo I see you being heartbroken and sad this week why something going on here some of you feel like you might be getting breadcrumbed by an air sign this week this person just popping in Dropping a few coins in your coin slot and leaving. 
Yeah, I feel like you're going to feel kind of sad about that. Maybe you'll be angry later, I don't know, but I feel like this week there's just this feeling like there might be a breakup or somebody's breaking up with somebody or something's ending due to um, some breadcrumbing. Okay, these are a lot of different messages. It's not one straight storyline, if you haven't caught on to that yet. A lot of random messages showing up for this week. Okay, Two of Pentacles. Oh, there's a decision about meeting up with someone this week as well. Could, uh, okay. This is, look, you guys. The 1111. Yeah. There's, there's, a, there's a juggling thing. Let me, let me juggle some things around so I can connect with you. That's what I'm hearing. Could be a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. Hmm. Oh real strong um orgasmic kind of connection with this person or at least that's what's behind them that's their intention to connect with you a strong physical yeah there's my <laughs> you know you guys might as well be smoking a cigarette after the deed is done <laughs> in the bed it's just like rest and relaxation after it's over yeah somebody's um trying to meet up with you this week or is making plans or is trying to figure something out to connect with you this week and um, there's a very orgasmic, blow in the socks off kind of energy uh, from this person. Pure, pure energy, pure intimacy, pure passionate energy. All right, what else? Let's see. A little boom boom I'm hearing. Okay, so you have the star. Oh, Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Cups. Wow. Somebody's traveling to a lake or a coast. It's going to be on the coast this week or maybe relocating or moving somewhere where there's a coast or near a pool. Or is traveling to like a beach or coastline, pool, lake, sea. I see a travel. I see a trip. I see movement. And someone makes a love offer to you this week as well. Romantic love offer. And they are for real. They're being honest. This love offer that comes in this week from someone. And it's it's the real deal. Yep, there you are, Virgo. Always in your readings. You're looking fine. So you are getting some attention this week. I don't know exactly who it could be from. It could be anybody. It could just be someone <laughs> that you meet. I don't know. Um, are you talking to this week? But yeah, they make a romantic proposal to you. And it's direct. You know, with the Ace of Swords, it's a very direct proposal. It's like, let's do this. Some of you also um, need to take some medicine before you go have a surgical procedure or of some sort, whether it's invasive, non-invasive. You're going to get like a prescription for something this week before, or pick it up for somebody somebody's having surgery it could be you it could be cosmetic you know um somebody like hands you the the medicine here take this before you get your procedure done it could be your teeth so some type of procedure this week so there's something that you will have to take like a medicine or something and they're saying make sure you take that you know make sure you take some kind of medicine two all right, you've got the hermit. What are you thinking about? Oh, some of you are contemplating leaving, starting over, starting new somewhere, leaving the past in the past and walking into a brand new something here. You're, you're contemplating, Virgo. You haven't made a full decision yet, but you're definitely soul searching about what you want to do. Um, this might be something you've been thinking about since 2021. You might have done it. Maybe you're going to start reevaluating that again. You're doing a lot of soul searching this week about... Uh, making some kind of change, how close you are to completing a lesson or a goal. Some of you are tr thinking about traveling or it's like emigration or, you know, relocating, traveling the world, maybe moving somewhere else. There's a lot of, it's going to come out to play this week where you're going to be considering something along those lines. Yeah, excitement. Yeah, you want to do something, I see. You want to go somewhere. You want to have fun the page of wands for me is this like excitement enthusiasm energy 
So maybe traveling or looking at places for the summer that, you know, this week, looking to see what you could do. This is a very physical card, so it could have a lot to do with exercise, um, being very active like a child, you know, just constantly moving and being excited. Yeah, some of you um, are tired of, of feeling of being stuck. There's an energy of feeling stuck or feeling trapped, but you're only, you're only trapped by your thoughts. You're not actually trapped is what they're saying. You're not a tree. You can move. You can leave, <laughs> I'm hearing. Feeling like you're stuck. You're wanting something new, wanting a new start, and really doing a lot of thinking about this here. Like, what do you want to do with the rest of your life? What do you want to do with your life? Isn't that Twisted Sister? I can't remember. All right, Queen of Swords. Somebody's trying to tell you some truth this week, Virgo, but you're rejecting it or you're blocking someone. You're like, I'm rubber, you're glue. Whatever you say bounces off me and goes right back to you. That's your energy this week. You don't want to hear something. You don't want to hear some truth. You don't want to deal with a Queen of Swords at all. The Queen of Swords is being very honest very forthcoming, um, lacking in tact, no compassion, just hitting, just go, like going for the jugular. And you're protecting yourself from a queen of swords, an air sign, masculine or feminine this week. Okay? Because you're manifesting something and you don't want someone to tell you what you can and can't do. So you're blocking. This queen of swords is probably trying to tell you like just the truth but it is like a, virgo doesn't need to be told the truth because virgo is always tr you know seeking truth is always honest so i don't know this energy of this queen of swords yeah extremely open but you know it's positive you know but i don't know maybe you just don't want to hear it and you it looks like you want to do what you want to do here you have a potential for growth and you're going to explore something this week and whether the Queen of Swords agrees with it or not, like they're trying to give you all of the, show you where all the potholes could be, but it's kind of like, I'll experience them on my own and I'll learn from them myself. Yeah, so you're you're pretty much like not letting this person, I don't know, you might have a fear that they're going to change your mind about something. It looks like you, you know what you're doing. So I guess the message there is trust what you're, what you're trying to do with yourself this week. Okay, you have temperance. Okay, some kind of betrayal or heartbreak. Everything's coming back into alignment. Everything is being healed from behind the scenes is what I'm hearing. A betrayal. Um, a feeling of being stabbed in the back. Uh, somebody hitting rock bottom and just wanting to redo their life in a healthier way. Everything's coming into alignment. It's kind of like the angels are working behind the scenes to make something happen here. You just have to trust the process, I feel. Um, it's just some kind of complete and, and uh, painful kind of ending. And I feel like the message here is, you know, if you feel like you've just, like you're done, you know, the, the skies begin to, will begin to part and the light will come back out and you're guided here. Yeah, trust, trust the process. That's what I'm hearing. So for something, if something ends this week, I feel like the message here is know that it was meant to be. For the best for you for your benefit um they're saying something is being put on pause this week because it needs a little it needs something needs to simmer so to get something needs to be worked on you know when you're, you go too 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 hard on something and the harder you go at something sometimes like for example, oh, they're giving me an image of like when you're mixing up cake mix, like you can only beat the cake mix so many times or for so many minutes or else you're going to damage the ingredients. You might have just mixed something up too much or, or there, there's something just got beat down too much and it's time to like give it a rest and let it heal. Um, it will start over again. There will be new growth. There's an opportunity for new growth after something's ended. You just have to trust and believe. Uh, let things go. Let something just heal on its own, I'm hearing. Okay, some money or an opportunity, financial, that you've been waiting for. Is coming forward. And I do feel like um, this has, this might have something to do with some kind of global investment that you might have. 
uh, looking, waiting to see what the results are going to be and if there's going to be a payout, I'm hearing. And there will be with the Ace of Pentacles. This is, this is like some kind of new income. There's like a raise or a new job or um, a promotion is coming to you. There's some kind of income that's going to be coming to you. Something that either you have been waiting to hear about or you've made, you're making a choice about this week. And I feel like the choice needs to be a financial decision, not anything else. Um, if it's if it's worth the money and I'm also hearing um, some travel plans there's an offer coming in this week in regards to finding money to take a trip or being gifted a trip to travel somewhere this week all right just gonna do a couple more here and then we'll move on okay so there is like um there's a defensive energy regarding two people and either a child who's in school, school age child, or um, someone who's learning. There's, a, there's also an on the job training situation happening here. And it's physical, it's a physical job, physical work. Okay. So either you're in a position of training with another person, someone who's new, or you're the new person being trained. And this is like feels like an on hands on kind of a job feels like a physical thing okay and there may also be um, a disagreement between two people who are trying to take care of um, someone under them they're caring for someone so it could be like an elder or it could be a child or it could be uh, someone who's sick there there is some pushback regarding that let me see yeah yeah some pushback it may have something to do with um, who's gonna pay for something Okay, so be weary about that, okay? Um, there might be some pushback and um, someone doesn't want to pay is what I'm hearing. Somebody doesn't want to fork out more money for something or pay extra. Okay. <laughs> what else do you have showing up here? What other messages for Virgo this week for May 20th through the 26th? Okay, learning a new skill. Some of you are going to get that opportunity, I feel, to learn something new, to do something new. Um, this involves some teamwork or collaborating with someone on a project, um, picking up some new skills. This could have to do with um, quality, quality control or quality, something that you're creating or you're making or something you're doing new. It, the, the important message is make sure it's of quality, not so much quantity quality that it's real and it's unique also something here to do with craftsmanship so learning to do it could it could be a craft as well but it's all about learning picking up and learning something new yeah you have a material gift showing up here again that is just confirmation of the ace of pentacles where like i said there's some kind of you get a new job if you're looking there's a raise coming to you or a promotion investment or a new income you also have the sun which is positive vibes so this is good energy um, and this really just tells you to stay positive virgo throughout this week as best as you can um, find joy look for joyous outcomes be success minded the energies show up strong and powerful Okay, so just find a way to love your life this week and you have manifestation. So, you know, it feels to me like don't be in fear of the things that you want, whatever tools you have to create and manifest your journey, get to it and do it. Um, whatever's meant to be will be. That's what I feel. So um, work on your manifestation. Just put all the cards out on your table. Get real with yourself to figure out what it is you want, where you're going. Um, and take charge of your life. Take charge of your divine masculine energy. You also have a father figure who's guiding you this week. Um, strive for being um, self-respecting. Have dignity and power. And there's another influential male who is supporting you. Like is what we said in the very beginning of the reading. You have someone who's protecting protecting you. They, they have um, these protection instincts about them. And so this week they're going to be really strong. Really powerful energies okay let's see any messages of love that Virgo needs to hear for this week 
okay lean on your inner circle during this time virgo support is out there for whatever you're going through you do have a past life love showing up where your soul remembers this intense connection to people you also have spiritual lesson there's someone in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson that's what they're here for you also have release radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go of something radical acceptance and surrender which means it's not something you want to do but do it anyway that's what radical radical means it's like completely out of your comfort zone not acceptance and surrender can help you let go radical because this is for somebody who is not willing to accept something and not willing to surrender to something but if you're then feeling like a hostage to that um, and you don't like that then you need to go rad rogue radical you also have to go slow take time to get to know someone virgo this week you may come across someone take your time with them and you also have mastery you've learned the spiritual lesson and intuition you already know like all the answers are within you virgo you don't need to check check and recheck with people you already know trust yourself all right let's get into see what we have here we have the letter o the letter a someone is 47 june is a very significant month january is a significant month we have september 20th someone's 53 someone's born in 69 The letter D, someone is 56. The number, September 3rd, sorry, 1987. I forgot to do Chinese signs, I guess so well, because I want to see the Chinese sign of who's protecting you this week. So the letter A again, but initially I saw that as a V, and then I was thinking um, uh, Virginia. They said Virginia, September 13th, September 20, or I'm sorry, August 25th, August 31st. Let's get your Chinese signs. I don't know why I forgot to do them. So if those um, birthdays or those dates resonate with you, then that's definitely a message for you. Um, the Chinese signs are going to do will be for the person who's showing up as your protector, whether they are with you in the 3D or they've moved on or passed on. Definitely a protective energy. Let's take a look. Who is the Chinese sign of the person that is protecting Virgo this week? Okay. Year of the rooster. Year of the rat. Year of the pig. Year of the goat. Year of the monkey. Year of the horse. Year of the dog. And the year of the dragon. Okay. All right, let's get some charms. Oh, let me just give you some signs. Let's get your zodiac sign of who's coming in for protection, to protect you, looking after you. Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, and Aquarius. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right, let's take a look here. Oh, so red is the color this week. I feel like red, the color red. I'm hearing Virgo wear red this week. I don't care what kind of red. Um, I mean, I don't care where. Lipstick, nails. Look, I got my nails red. <laughs> Lipstick, nails, clothing, underwear, socks, your shoes, your whatever. Um, any accessories. Try to make a point to wear red this week. I feel um, red is very passionate and very attractive and... For some reason, I feel like it'll look really good on you this week. Red, I'm hearing. Okay. So, I'm just going to call these things out. If they resonate for you, there's a frog. Frog will be significant this week. There's also a Dalmatian, significant for someone this week. We also have a cactus, significant for someone this week. A peace sign. So if these resonate for you, look, blue shirt with a red heart. Okay, maybe you'll have a shirt like that on this week. Also a train. There's a train. Something coming up about trains this week. And two owls. Two very wise souls. One gold, one silver. Two very wise souls. 
meant to be together. You also have a black arrow with a black heart on the end of it and a shooting star. Wow, that's amazing. So if any of those charms resonate for you, I do feel like um, somehow it, that's a message that this is a reading for you. I'm not sure how the charms are going to resonate, but I do feel that the train does represent movement to me. So things are going to start moving forward for you in a positive direction this week. The shooting star represents making your wishes and setting your intentions this week so that this stuff will come to, to pass for you. The frog does represent, um, now you could live in an area where there's a lot of frogs, <laughs> I mean, wherever that would be. Um, but the, fr the frog does represent to me um, taking a leap. You need to take a leap of faith here. You might be asked this week to take a leap of faith in something, and it's okay to do that. The, fi the dog represents to me, I'm seeing like a firehouse, or, you know, they have those Dalmatians at a, at a firehouse, or a firefighter, or something along those lines. The cactus, obviously... Um, some of you are holding on to too much water. You need to go sweat because <laughs> you're bloated, I'm hearing. Or you need to take some kind of medication or something because you're too bloated. Um, you might also live in a desert area where there's a lot of cactus with the red flowers on them. I'm just feeling like a strong red energy, even with that red butterfly. I mean, you might see a red butterfly. I don't think I've ever seen one, but you might see one this week. And also, um, I'm also hearing somebody drives like a, um, a Volkswagen or a car, a German car, like a Volkswagen or something like that. I'm just feeling that. So, okay, I'm going to leave that there, Virgo. I hope that, I hope you like that reading. I hope all the good stuff comes to pass for you. And uh, yeah, I will see you all back here tomorrow. Um, thank you to the moderators. I just want to say you guys are so freaking awesome for being here every damn week. Oops. Yep, being here every week and um, contributing to the channel and helping along with the chat. I'm always super, super grateful to you guys. And for those, if there's anybody who has joined my channel recently, I just want to welcome Missy Baby1934, Sharon Craigle, Christy Jameson, welcome, 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 Carol Ann Siraco, CA. Yes, thank you for becoming a member of the HOV gang. I totally appreciate that. And I hope to see you guys in the chat if you are new members. Say hello to everyone when you come in. And I will see you guys all back here tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Uh, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.